Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue our class discussion in our what do you want to learn about unit in our health classes. Um, today I'm going to answer three of your questions that you were curious about. The first of which um, people asked, why do you shrink when you get older? And at first I thought, oh, that's kind of a silly question. But then I thought about it a little bit more and I realized it's actually a great question because um, believe it or not, it actually is true. Um, now, the reason why it will make a lot more, it makes a lot more sense when we find out the reason why people shrink uh, compared to just people um, getting smaller for no reason. So um, the answer is actually pretty simple. Um, when obviously as you're growing, your bones are getting bigger, your bones are getting stronger. And then as you start getting older and you're not able to move around as much um, and kind of gravity kind of takes its toll, always kind of pulling down your body. What happens is the discs in your spine, so your spine is not just one large bone, it's actually made of many, many bones um, with some fluid and some and a lot of area in between each bone. So what happens is those discs in the spine, they start to compress on each other just because of the lack of um, of healthy tissue and things in between there. Um, so they start to compress and get smaller and starts to curve. If you can kind of see in this picture, um, the spine starts to curve just a bit, which gives somebody a, an appearance of them being a lot smaller than what they actually were. Now, if they were able to stand straight up like they were when they were younger, um, they would actually be the same size, but because they are not standing as vertical as they once were, that is why some people um, start to shrink when they get older. Okay, so I thought that was interesting. You guys also kind of sticking with the theme here, um, talking about why do people get wrinkles? Okay, and um, that's kind of a funny funny question too, but it's true. Why do people get wrinkles? Um, is that is that a way that you can tell that people are old versus young? Well, basically what happens is as you start to get older, your skin becomes more dry. So that's why it's very important to stay hydrated at all, at all times. So making sure you're drinking lots of water throughout the day. Um, your skin starts to get um, a lot more dry when it's not hydrated and it's less elastic. So um, when you're young, you take your skin, it goes right back to where it started. Um, but as you get older, it lacks that ability and the skin also becomes thinner. So it's going to give the appearance of, um, think of, think about it as like a, like a really, really thin piece of paper. Like once it gets bent up, it's not going to be able to go back to what it was. So, uh, when the skin, it's a combination of hydration, less elasticity and the skin becoming thinner. That's why the wrinkles start to occur. Um, now, what also was happening is people were asking, well, why do you get wrinkly skin if you're in a pool? Is that related to being older? And that, that's really not the case. Um, so what happens here, it's actually your body's, it, it's a defense mechanism. Okay, so your body's not really used to having so much water there. So your skin is actually trying to absorb some of that water to prevent it from getting inside your body. So it's a way to kind of defend yourself um, from too much water. Um, and it's actually like your natural reaction to be able to grip things. So you can see it a lot in your fingertips, but also in your feet when you're in the water for a really long time, it gives you basically more surface area. So think about like a car tire and has lots of treads. Um, your body's, your your hands and your feet are they your primary ways to kind of move around so your feet and hands get these kind of extra treads to kind of be able to help you to maneuver and survive in a different environment than what you're used to so i thought that was pretty interesting too and then finally you guys asked me if cracking your knuckles is bad um there's kind of two ways about it, two ways to think about it, but technically there's nothing really wrong with cracking your knuckles. It is a myth, okay? But it is not exactly a healthy behavior that I would sign off on. So what's happening is the cracking noise is basically 
like you have this fluid in between your joints, okay? And what the cracking noise is, it's bubbles in that fluid, okay? But that fluid is there for a reason. It's there to protect your joints. So messing around with that fluid is not ideal. So is it bad for you? Not necessarily, but is it good for you? Definitely not, okay? So my suggestion would be just don't do it, okay? Because it probably bothers the people around you as well. All right, so those were your three topics that we covered today. I hope you guys learned a little something. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, the Google Classroom is still live and active. Feel free to go ahead and ask me anything that you want. Um, I hope you guys stay safe, have a good week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.